Camtasia 2020 for the Mac has some features that aren't available on PC. Let's look at what the Mac can do that the PC can't. First, there's track reordering. I can grab this track and move it up. Or I can grab this track and drag it down. I can drag tracks even further. So very simple, very intuitive for us to change the order of our tracks. We can also solo a track. For example, if I only wanted to see what was on track three, I can hold down the Option key and click on the I, and it will disable all other tracks. So I only see what's on track three. If I do it again, hold down Option and click the I, everything comes back. And I can try that with another track and just solo that track out. If you needed to have multiple tracks, you can use this. If I hold down the Option key and I click both of those, notice it's not technically solo, but you're able to see just those tracks and no other tracks. We know that we have group sizes now, and over here in the Properties panel, we have the ability on the Mac to be able to update those group sizes to specific amounts. So for example, if I needed this width to be 400, I could just go over and type 400. And speaking of groups, there is a group preview mode. If we double click a group, we can see that group. And if I click this toggle, then I can see just what is in that group. And it basically mutes or disables everything else. Of course, I can turn that back on and see everything together. But this is how I can toggle on or off to see what's in a group solo or see it with everything else. The max canvas size has increased. We can go to project settings and we can use 4096. There's now a caffeinated export option. So if we were to do a batch export, that could take several hours, depending on how many videos we have. Now, the computer won't go to sleep when you're in the process of exporting larger files. We also have an audio meter. So if I'm here in my timeline and I start playing through this, notice here on the right, it shows me an audio meter. I can see a visual representation of my audio. And lastly, under visual effects, there's now a border effect if we wanted to add that to an item. This was available on the PC and is now available on the Mac.